I just can't imagine being a like young kid and being exposed to all of this. The instances of grouping, it may sound virtual war, but it feels as real as it may be in real life. I'm going undercover as 13-year-old Lilypad into a virtual reality chat. So this disclaimer is asking me to confirm that I'm over 18, so let me just give this a shot. Oh, I'm in. Honestly, I could actually be an 8-year-old girl doing this. I guess everyone is conglomerating there. What's going on here? I can't believe I am seeing a rather sexually explicit act between avatars. I decided to go to a different chat room, but I walked into another sex act. Oh my god. <laughs> this just like this is really, really overwhelming. <laughs> How old are you? 14. Oh. Hey, how old are you? I'm 10. When's your birthday? Uh, my mom doesn't let me tell anybody except okay. my friends. Okay. But I can add you to my friend request. I send it to your friend request. Open the door, Veronica. Hey. Open it. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, wait, are you actually leaving? Hi. You don't have any other avatars? It's my first day here. There was also one user <laughs> that I became friends with and it was fun at first. I should wait. Are you trying to add me as a friend or something? Yeah, I just started you. But he started following me every room I went to. <laughs> I'm right on the side of you. Oh, you changed. He's like following me all over. Everywhere I turned, he was there and it felt a lot more immersive, the the following. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's only so many people. Oh my god. What is happening? Yeah. This is really, really tiring for my mind. I didn't expect too much before I went into the metaverse, but when I was in there, there was just so much happening. There were moments where I needed to come out of it and just come back to the real world because it was this world where you could really be anything you want and you don't know what's real, you don't exactly know what's happening, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And I found myself just wanting to run back to reality. It can get pretty graphic depending on the kind of experience you're in. People are just kind of malicious sometimes and uh, can really harass you. The instances of grouping, it may sound virtual war, but it feels as real as it may be in real life. There was an uh, instance where at Roblox, this nine-year-old child was molested by a group of avatars. And let's say if there is a child behind that avatar, they can't unsee things. They can't unhear things or go back to undoing whatever has occurred to their brain, to their developing brain. So this is different and very intimate. And I actually also met a user who was 10, who was being exposed to all this content so there may be some pedophiles there that are like pretending to be similar age to try to groom children. So that's another risk that we are facing. We have to acknowledge that children are gaining access to these devices. They're getting into VR. So we need to establish this collective shared responsibility where organizations need to produce tools that automatically recognize that this is not appropriate for this age group, maybe restrict based on the actual age, then just to check the box, which anybody can bypass easily. Imagine 
Instead of reading a textbook on Singapore in the early 20th century, I'm actually there. And instead of learning how the heart works, I can see how it pumps right in front of me. Or even take a trip to Mars for my science lesson. <laughs>